In this video, we're going to talk about the formulas of limits that you may need to know for your upcoming tests. The first one is this, the limit as x approaches 0 of sine x over x. Now this is equal to 1. The reciprocal is also true. The limit as x approaches 0 of the expression x over sine x is also equal to 1. Now this is something that you just have to know. Now the next one is similar to the previous two. The limit as x approaches 0 for tangent x over x is also equal to 1. And for the reciprocal, it will be the same. For x over tangent x, this also equals 1. By the way, for those of you who want a printout of these formulas, uh, feel free to check out the links below this video in the description section. I'm going to post the formula sheet there for those of you who are interested in it. Now here's the next formula. The limit as x approaches 0 of the expression 1 minus cosine x divided by x. This is equal to 0. Now the limit as x approaches infinity of sine x over x, this is going to be 0 as well. The limit as x approaches infinity of the expression 1 over x, that's 0. Sine and cosine, they could vary between negative 1 and 1, so it's like sine times 1 over x, which will end up being 0. So as x approaches infinity, the expression cosine x over x also goes to 0. Now let's talk about some exponential limits. The limit as x approaches 0 of e to the x, this is going to be 1. You could use direct substitution to get this. Now for the next one, you just have to know it. The limit as x approaches 0 of the expression e raised to the x minus 1 over x, that's going to be 1. Now the limit as x approaches infinity of the expression 1 plus 1 over x raised to the x, this is going to equal e. Likewise, the limit as x approaches 0 for the expression 1 plus x raised to the 1 over x, this too is equal to e. Now, there's a few more that we can go uh, through. Here's the next one. The limit as x approaches 0 for the natural log of 1 plus x, and this is over x, this is equal to 1. And the limit as x approaches 0 for a to the x minus 1 divided by x, this is equal to the natural log of a. And the limit as x approaches 0 for 1 plus x raised to the n minus 1 over x is equal to n. Now, some of these formulas you may use in your calculus course. Others um, you might never use. So it really depends on your teacher and what they decide to test you on. But these are some limit formulas that you can add to your notes. Now, I didn't cover all of them. There's a few more. 
However, you could find the rest of those formulas in the formula sheet that I'm going to post in the description section below. So feel free to take a look at that when you get a chance. And thanks for watching this video.